All right, guys, welcome back to the Tutor Learning Center. This is JV Tutor, and I'm here to teach you how to do Algebra 2. And still here we are on Lesson 1-1, Creating Equations, um, under Creating Equations, One Variable Equations. All right, guys, uh, in the previous videos, we did number one through seven here, and then we stopped and did activity one through nine on lesson one, one. <clears throat> and now um, we're going to continue with number eight. We've done all of this. All right. All right, guys, make sense of problems. Consider the meaning of the solution from item number seven. Explain why you should or should not round the value of R to the nearest whole number. So let's go back and look at number seven here. We came up with the R equals uh, R for riders equals 45.45. Well, the reason we need to round it up is because they are people, right? All right, <clears throat> round it up because they're people. Um, can't think to uh, put 45.45 uh, people on uh, two brides, right? Could get kind of messy. All right, so let's look at number B, 8B. All right, so how many people out of the 100 riders will take slide one? We said they, it was 46 people. All right, homeschoolers, be sure you are writing the answers down. And when it comes to problems, please write the problem itself down and the answer right, and how to solve it. <clears throat> All right, number nine, use the expressions you wrote in item two to determine how long it will take the number of riders from item eight to go through slide one. Evaluate the expression for the appropriate value of R. All right, guys, so... <clears throat> So 8B, uh, we said 46 people. Remember, way at the top in one of our first problems, we came up with this R over 2 times 0.75 for the minutes, right? All right. So we're going to replace that R with the 46, as we did here. All right. <clears throat> so we replaced it with the 46. Okay, get off of there. All right, so um, 0.75 times 46 over two equals three fourths times 23. Ah, where did they get that three fourths? Okay, so it looks like 0.75, when you turn it into fraction form, it is going to be three fourths. And it looks like they have that 23 right here. Two divided into 46 is 23. And then they did three fourths times 23 equals 17.25. Let's go to B. How many minutes will it take the riders to go through slide one round to the nearest minute? All right, so 17 minutes. So these aren't people. So you can obviously round down. Uh, this is not anywhere near 17.50 and above. So we're going to round down to 17 minutes. <clears throat> Number 10. The rest of the 100 riders will go through slide two in about the same amount of time. So answer, so your answer to item 9B gives an estimate of the numbers of minutes that will take all 100 riders to go down the penguin slides. Number 10, recall that when a rider reaches the sign, there will be approximately 100 people waiting in front of him or her. What number should Jabir write to complete the statement on the sign. And of course, we're going to write the 17 minutes. All right, number 11. <clears throat> All right, describe how you could check your answer to item 10 um, and discover that it is reasonable. So we're going to take that 17 from above and add it here as our total. All right, and so uh, looks like slide two. Remember, from above, we had 
the 100 minus R times four, I mean, uh, divided by four times that 1.25 in, in minutes, right? All right. And uh, so now we're gonna put that 46 in there. So we're gonna put that 46 in there. All right. And so, and then we're going to make it add to that equal to that 17 minutes. So let's do it on the side here. <clears throat> All right, 100 minus 46 over four times our 1.25 over one. That's a one, guys. Okay, 1.25. All right, equals. Now we're going to do our distribution method. All right, so that's going to give us 125 minus 57, oops, 57.5. And that's going to be over four. So four times one is four. And then we're going to have. <clears throat> 67.5 over four. All right, minus these. And you're gonna come up with this. All right, and so equals 16.87. Five. All right. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to round up. We're going to round up because remember it is riders, right? Verify are riders. They're people. So we're going to round them up to that 17 and it matches. All right, guys. So number 12. Suppose to be your needs to place a second sign in the waiting line for the penguin slides. When a rider reaches the slide, the slide, when a rider reaches this sign, there will be approximately 250 people in front of him or her. What number should Jabir write to complete the statement on the sign? Explain how you would determine your answer. From this point, your wait is approximately how many minutes? All right, guys, so we've been through this before. Let's look at number 12 down here. We've been through this before. All of the same problem is the same exact problem to solve the same exact way from up above when it was when it had 100 here minus R, but they were replacing it with the 250. All right, so scroll back up and replace that 100 uh, with that 250 and complete this problem again and see if you get to <clears throat> R equals 100. 13.64. So we're going to round this to 114 because they're people. All right. And so now we're going to take 0.75 times 114 over 2 because we're replacing R in our formula, right, with the 114. All right. Over 2 equals 42.75, and we're going to round up because they're people to 43 minutes. All right, guys, so go back up, up above and look at that problem on how to solve these. All right, all right, guys, that's it. Um, oh, actually, number 13, excuse me. <clears throat> Explain the relationships among the terms, variables, expression, and equation. So a variable is a letter or symbol that represents an unknown variable um, unknown values or values. An expression can include variables along with numbers and operations. An equation is a statement that two expressions are equal. All right, guys, write that down for number 13, homeschoolers. All right, now we're at the end of the video. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. See you there.